It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, playing in Los Angeles presents unique challenges. Lakers great Magic Johnson says, Hollywood's right there. And you can't go too close to all of that because it'll take away from winning. So you have to be disciplined to play in L.A. And remember that with the Lakers, it's all about winning championships. Kevin? It sure is. And the banners to prove it, David. Thank you. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Carl Anthony Towns. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, Look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. They've got Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell out there with Anthony Edwards, and it's Noel in at the two-guard spot. And for the Lakers, they've got LeBron James. Davis is out there with Anthony. Then there's Russell we Westbrook, and it's Bradley in at the two spot. For those teams, Greg, that had head coaching changes, how long does it take to fully implement a new system? Well, it, it typically takes a full season, and it also depends just on how complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. Outside, Davis. Passes to Bradley. LeBron kicks to Bradley. Lock at six. The pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the grace of Davis's game. You know, not many big men are just that fluid in terms of how he moves. Now, here is Russell. His last outing, he had 18 points. Noel passes to Russell. Towns sets the pick for Russell. And there's the drive. That's a no-go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. Davis in the corner. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Out to Anthony. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Well, they couldn't buy a bucket at times, and that's frustrating. And that game was not their friend. I thought the striking thing was how little offense they generated. It doesn't matter how stout your defense is when you play that poorly on the offensive end. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. The 10-footer. No good on the shot. A bit long that time for Minnesota. They've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Here's Noel. Covered by LeBron. LeBron with the block. An engaged LeBron James on the defensive end is an absolute menace. Shot from the low block. And Westbrook with the nice bucket inside. LeBron James with the assist. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against the Heat. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings. The most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that.
Coming under the goal. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker Girls. Andrew Beverly has checked in for the Timberwolves. Yeah, right. hey, let's take a moment here to see some of the numbers for D'Angelo Russell. He's averaging 19 points per game, five assists, and three rebounds. He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And Davis sends it back. The incredible length of Davis uses it to perfection to come up with the block. Here's Towns. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Los Angeles leading by four. Outside Westbrook. Pass to LeBron. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. At his size, That's LeBron his is a handful inside, and sometimes you can't help but foul him to try and prevent that easy bucket. Line, this is his first trip to the line tonight. Performed well thus far this season with a 78% clip. Shooting two. No good on that one. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Boy, that's not the result I would have predicted. Usually you can take those to the bank when he's at the line. Here's Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. Oh, man, how good is he at turning on the Jets and getting to that next level? D'Angelo Russell, fearless, driving on the interior. Now here's James. First game he had 12. And they double up James. Pass to Brant. Shot clock at five. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Tries to keep it alive. Out and out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. And a moment here to look at the numbers for Carl Anthony Town. Sixth in blocks. Eighth and three-point field goal percentage. And he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top 10 in rebounds per game. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top 10 shot block. Beverly, Bradley with some nice D. Anzo James will bring it up for the Lakers. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. They play terrific defensively. The few cracks they showed, guys were quick to rotate and help each other out. We talk about multiple efforts on the defensive end, and I thought, boy, that was good old-fashioned focus, team effort. What a win. Towns, a screen on James, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Westbrook finds Davis. Westbrook a screen on Towns. And Davis, here we go, over Towns. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Here's Russell. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Lakers in the lead. Loads it up for Davis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Fires the three. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Passes it to Brant. Dishes it to Carmelo. Out to the wing. Here's Westbrook and the rejection by Towns. 
Edwards against Bradley. The pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Russell. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Vanderbilt. Over Anthony. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one's on Anthony. And with the length Vanderbilt has, Doris, he can be a handful. Very impactful. Yeah, he can. That wingspan, what a power forward frame. He's got the opportunities now to let that work pay off. This guy is fearless on the floor. No good on the free throw. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Minnesota also making some changes. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Akogi comes in for Edwards. And it's Malik Beasley in for D'Angelo Russell. He doesn't get the second one. Reed the pass to Vanderbilt. Now here's Beasley out defending. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Lakers have gone just two of eight shooting so far, just 25%. Uh, Howard setting the pick for Monk. Driving the lane. Reed with the block. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The Timberwolves making a change here. McDaniels checked in. Los Angeles calls timeout. All right, man. Get on your feet. Make some noise. It's teaser time. Man, your Laker girl. to show you the NBA's best rebounding teams over the last 10 games. The Lakers number one. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality. It's the Lakers now. Just two to shoot. Monk for three. The offensive rebound. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Los Angeles ball. Howard with a screen on Beverly. Shot clock at six. Monk kicks to Howard. Shoots over Reed. Here's a Kogi. Pass to Beverly. He dishes it to McDaniels. Passes it to Reed. It's deflected and stolen by Howard. 
Now the Lakers on the break. Monk, no one around him. Hands it from downtown. How about the quickness Monk. of that release by Monk? Uh, an experienced catch and shoot player who feels comfortable firing from deep. Now here's Reed. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Good. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. Here's Reeves, and there's the pass to Horton Tucker. From 11 feet away, misses off the right iron. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. McDaniels kicks to Beasley. A Kogi, the pass to Beasley. Over Johnson. No good from Beasley. Lakers lead by three. Screen by Howard. And he drives in. Reed with the block. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. So it's the Lakers now. Howard with a screen on Beasley. Reeves the pass to Howard. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their two offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Okogie. Unloads from 13. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Johnson with a screen on Beverly. Monk. And then Monk with the dunk. And I think it's going to be crucial that Monk continues to work on his playmaking ability. But when he's holding the ball like that, he is tough to stop. Hey, man, who wants a free t shirt? Make some noise. And your Laker girl. Kogi. left to play here in the first. Here's Beasley. Count that one. And, and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. That shot's good, good for Monk. And you gotta love that three-point stroke of Monk. I mean, he's got such a high arcing shot there. It gives it a good chance to go in from deep. Now, here's McDaniel. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's sent back by Howard. Here's Horton Tucker. 
And Jalen Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Minnesota. D'Angelo Russell. Timberwolves trail by eight. Beasley right side. Another shot, and it's good on the way up. Nah, and their post really? play has been really solid right off the bat. LA's gone two of five from three point land here in the first quarter. 23 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Horton Tucker, and rebounded by McDaniels. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Shoots from the baseline, and it's off the back rim. No good. Here's Reeves. Over Russell. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Well, you want to see some more ferocity on the defensive end for D'Angelo Russell. Right there, he proves what a force he can be. And so it's Los Angeles with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break. But he says he doesn't have to for his team to be successful. There's no pressure for none of us to score. There's no pressure for any of us to do more than, than you have to. Um, you know, for me, I'm just, I'm whatever. I'm, I'm all about winning. Well, and the way this roster is composed with Anthony Davis and all these veterans around, everyone able to play their part. And play their role. As LeBron gets older, he's going to choose his spots and look for ways to make his teammates better. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? You guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. You've got Bradley, Anthony out there with LeBron James, and it's Anthony Davis, and it's Westbrook in a point. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy bets. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. And, and Doris, the last few years for Russell, what has seen a lot of turnover and change for that young man. And you know what? That can really slow down a player on the court more than you think. Last handful of years, Russell has changed teams and coaches several times, and yet he has still continued to be a factor on the floor. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. Brown James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint, it's hard to score on him. Guys? D.A., he is a lead in every way, as are you. Thank you. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Outside Westbrook. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. Anthony That's Edwards. foul number two for him. That's two fouls already foul. on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. And the Timberwolves making a change here. A Kogi's checked in. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. James in the post. Down to five on the shot clock. Westbrook, no good. Timberwolves trail by six. It's Edwards on the wing. Prince outside. Back 
back to Edwards. The dish now to Prince. A Kogi for three. Bradley with some nice D. Lakers leading by six. Bounce pass Davis. Here's Westbrook. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. So we'll see Russell Westbrook go to the line here. It goes on Torian Prince. And the way Russell Westbrook racks up triple doubles is just incredible. Does it so often. A testament, Doris, to his strong work ethic. I mean, this guy plays with such competitive spirit on both ends of the floor. Russell is relentless. He will sacrifice his body, and his teammates appreciate the effort he gives every single night. That one misses for Westbrook. And Greg, some star big men have complained that they get hacked all game long. But they're not getting the foul calls these guards do on the perimeter. I have to agree, Kevin. I mean, and on a lot of those fouls, the guards get three free throws. So something the league might want to take a look at trying to balance things out. Timberwolves trail by eight. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Another miss by Minnesota. And so James will bring it up to the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Out to Russell. Pass to Okogi. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Here's Towns. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Anthony, the pass to West. Trying his luck from deep. He's off on that one. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. Towns kicks to Edwards. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Davis in the corner. Back to LeBron. Anthony looking it over. Over to the wing. Westbrook against Russell. Outside Grant. Beyond the arc. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Outside Russell. Vanderbilt the pass to Russell. This is it to Vanderbilt. Over Anthony. Vanderbilt misses. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Westbrook on multiple occasions has averaged double digit assists. You know he knows exactly when to deliver the pass. And the Timberwolves call time. And Greg with recent legal results. More opportunities now for compensation for college athletes. Uh, do you like it? I, you know, I mean, there's enough money going around. I don't have a problem with the athletes getting a share, but especially with the amount of time and effort and energy they have to commit. Let's take care of the guys. Let them enjoy the collegiate experience.
passing for Vanderbilt. Well, you need good passing from your forwards as much as you do from your guards. These are small forwards leading the way in assists. LeBron James second. And these are some of the best teammates you're ever going to want. Very unselfish players at a position where you don't see a lot of offensive facilitating. Well, you see plenty of that when any of these guys are on the floor. They're each very good at keeping their options open, trying to find the best possible shot on every trip, and no individual agendas. That's crucial. To the inside, Edwards passes to Okogi. Towns the screen. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Okogi. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Los Angeles leading by 10. James finds Westbrook. Davis with it. Now here's James. Edwards defending. Johnson for three. Good. That's nice assist three. from Westbrook. Johnson has got himself going there. His first points of the game of the deep ball. Beverly against Johnson. Shot to stop the run. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Davis. Let's remember, Anthony Edwards is 6'5 with a 6'9 wingspan. Those long arms, very difficult to deal with defensively. Draws the contact there. That one misses. And Doris, we know that Anthony Edwards has given numerous head-turning quotes, but that's just who he is. That's right. One of the most candid players in the league. Caught some media off guard when he said he saw himself as a football player. But this guy's got big-time personality. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Horton Jocker comes in for LeBron. And it's Malik Monk in for Russell Westbrook. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. On the pass to Davis. Here's Horton Tucker. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Davis. No good that time. And Minnesota now the other way. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And Davis sends it back. This is a quarter he'd rather forget. This guy just can't seem to get the lid off of that bucket. Now, here's Monk. Defense is right there. A fadeaway. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Beverly, the pass to Russell. Over Monk. Russell, no good. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 9-1 to one run. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. Oh, and really with the off-the-charts explosiveness, Davis just punishes opponents on those alley-oops. Back to Russell. For the three, happy to see that one drop. Shoot a poultry two for nine. And they may be leaning a little too heavily on the three-pointer when, when there are better looks to be had inside. Pass to Johnson. Here's Reeves. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Shoots over Towns. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got six in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Towns kicks to McDaniel. Back to Towns. Dishes to Beverly. Towns sets the pick for Beverly. Inside. And Towns the bucket on the assist by Beverly. Towns has got his first basket of the night. Well, just coming right off the pick and roll to finish beautifully. Towns looking so comfortable. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make some noise. Bam! Your Laker girl.
Look who's coming under the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Ranger Girls. Howard's checked in for Davis. Timberwolves also changing it up. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Torian Prince comes in for Edwards. And it's Beasley in for Russell. Howard, the pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Reeves. Off target from outside. Timberwolves trail by 11. Pass to Beasley. No good off the front iron. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. Pass to Horton Tucker. Six to shoot. Down low. Here's Johnson. Los Angeles with another miss. Minnesota's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Driving inside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with this opportunity, we can show you this season's top shot blocking teams. The Timberwolves, number one. The Lakers, second. And these teams have both hung their hat on their defense, especially in the paint. We're looking at two of the premier shot blocking teams in our league. And he makes the first. What you have to love about Patrick Beverly is the long road to the NBA and his commitment to getting there. Think about this, guys. Three different European leagues before he signs with the Rockets. I don't know how you can't appreciate that kind of work ethic. Both good from the line that time. Lakers leading by nine. 144 and left to play in the first half. Right block shot. They get it again. Oh, you got to be kidding. If you had a question as to how Dwight Howard is up there amongst the all-time leaders in offensive rebounds, well, that's an example why. Now here's Beasley. 14 points from him the last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. From deep, Prince. Rebound the Lakers. Howard's got rebound number seven for him tonight. 107 left in the first half. Bobbed up there for Howard. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. That's about communication between teammates. Dwight Howard high flying as ever. Beverly finds Reed. Now Prince for three. Buries it from three point range. Prince has got himself on the board with three there. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Horton Tucker, the pass to Johnson. 34 seconds left here in the second. Shot clock at five. In the corner, it's Monk. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Nick Daniels kicks to Beverly. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. To the paint, Howard with the steal. Now, here's Monk. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Carmelo, what was the area of emphasis for your team during the first half? Well, we do it on both ends of the court. We, we bucking down on, on the defensive end. We sharing the ball offensively, making good plays. You know, challenging every possession. Every possession counts, and we're doing that the first half. I know you want to keep it going in the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the Los Angeles Lakers. The difference in bench points is staggering. Their second unit came to play tonight. They were aggressive. You got to figure the starters are loving it, seeing how much work their second unit is getting done. And let's take a look at the standings as the Western Conference starts to come into focus. You look at Los Angeles, they've been incredible out the gate. You could see this coming. We talked about this, and the way they prepared for the season was tremendous. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. One guy who's been getting it done is Malik Monk. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, we've got Russell. Downs is out there with Anthony Edwards. And it's Noel in at the shooting guard position. And Davis puts it in. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And this, the second season of Anthony Davis's five-year, $190 million extension. And he admitted that with his injury history, that long-term security was a consideration. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Now, here is Russell. He's got seven. Outside Towns. It's Edwards on the wing. Over James. And the rejection by James. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. And AD's injury woes rearing their head last season as well, Greg. We saw it missing a number of games. Well, a, a big man with his athleticism, a lot of stress on the legs. LeBron's gotten him on the same nutrition and treatment regimen. Hopefully, that'll help. Now, here's Davis. After the miss from Carl Anthony Towns. High, arcing shot. Westbrook, no good. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. The pass to Vanderbilt. Pass to Noel. Oh, my! He'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. That one's on Anthony. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Shooting for Minnesota. Jalen Noel. Shooting one. One shot. So Westbrook will bring it up for Los Angeles. At one point, they led by 16. No one near James as he lets it go. And he overshot that one, missing. Here's Noel. 
guarded by Brent. Outside Edwards. He feeds it to Towns. Over Bradley. And it's Towns missing. Lakers leading by 12. Bradley dishes to LeBron. Left side Westbrook. Looking to end its cold spell. Nice deep from Russell. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Outside Edwards. Here's Towns. Goes back up. And he lays it up and in. Oh, Dominant Towns. on the boards. Carl Anthony Towns knows I can get points on the board by getting to the offensive glass. Pass to Davis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, Anthony Town. That's his first personal It's his first trip to the line. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. Taking two shots. The first one falls. And one thing I'll never forget about Davis is when he lit up the All-Star game in 2017. Racked up 52 points in that game. That smashed the old record by 10. A Kogi's checked in for Minnesota. And both free throws good for Davis. Timberwolves trail by 12. Passes to Towns. And Davis sends it back. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. It's Davis on the wing. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And a chance here to look at the numbers that for Anthony Edwards. Averaging 13 second points per game. Five. Four rebounds and three assists. The line for Not his best one. production. And Anthony I expect Davis. him to break through and get that back on track soon. I think he's been pressing a little bit too much. He just needs to relax and let the game come to him. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Davis. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Minnesota calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. All right. Look who's coming into the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girls.
right now to check out the numbers for Anthony Davis. Second in blocks, and he's among the top 15 in rebounding. Just a powerful presence in the paint. Mm -hmm. And as you said, one rung below the leader in block shots. Tremendous motor. He, he's simply been destroying opponents in the lane. Westbrook against Russell. Vanderbilt the pass to Edwards. Russell high post. Seven points in the game. Here's Bradley. No good that time. Great tee that time from Edwards. He dishes it to Russell. Here's Vanderbilt. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Towns a screen on West Russell. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. The drive by LeBron. Westbrook against Russell. Westbrook with the bucket. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. A Kogi, the pass to Towns. Towns, a screen on West. Pocket six, and the slam dunk by Russell. So a point guard who can flush it with authority. D'Angelo Russell takes advantage. Los Angeles calls timeout. For the Lakers. The loudest and craziest fan get a free t-shirt. Let's hear it, fan. All right, look who's coming under the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker Girls. Substitution here for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Davis. Stanley Johnson comes in for Carmelo Anthony. Horton Tucker's checked in for LeBron. And it's Malik Monk in for Bradley. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Minnesota. Malik Beasley comes in for Vanderbilt. by Beasley. Monk kicks to Westbrook. And he's good on the three ball. Westbrook's got nine points. And that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Los Angeles leading by 15. 
Westbrook passes to Johnson, and there's the drive. Minnesota. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's and Westbrook's high high motor is why we love him. He goes out, Greg, and competes every That's play in every game. I, no doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out Taking on the NBA shots. Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. That's good from Johnson. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Los Angeles making a switch here. Reeves is checked in. And then for Minnesota. McDaniels, he's checked in for Edwards. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Russell. So Johnson hits two of them. Well, you think about Stanley Johnson. Coming out of high school, he was a top 10 recruit. He was a top 10 pick in an NBA draft. He came in with huge expectations. Obviously still working on getting there as an NBA guy. Here's a Kobe. No points in the game yet for him. Five to shoot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Dwight Howard. And defensively, Johnson has been as advertised. Excellent on-ball defender. Multi-positional. Excellent fit in switching schemes. And this guy has gotten some of his best stops against some of the league's toughest guards. That free throw, no good. Guys, when we think of Josh Okogie, the athleticism is eye-popping, and the relentlessness with which he plays a game, that will be what keeps him on the floor. He hits the second from the line. Lakers leading by 16. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And D.A., as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. Here's Reeves following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Stolen by McDaniels. Beasley outside. Reed kicks to Beasley. And he drives in. And it's sent back by Howard. Uh, Dwight Howard at his best, sending it back. And again, the Lakers no good. Timberwolves trail by 14. McDaniels passes to Beverly. They set the pick to the middle. It's tipped. Here's Reeves. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Horton Tucker, the pass to Monk. Here's Horton Tucker. Screen by Howard. Here he goes. Horton Tucker's shot is off. The Timberwolves shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Reed misses. Lakers leading by 14. Two minutes remaining. In the Kicks it out to Johnson. Two minutes. Now, here's Monk, covered by Beasley. Monk, the pass to Horton Tucker. Just five to shoot. Screen by Howard. They need this one. And rejection by McDaniel. On its way from Beasley for two. No good off the back of the rim. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. 17 points was their biggest margin. 124 left to play here in the third. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. 
a chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll defend home court against the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Monday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. And looking at the Boston matchup, this is what the fans have been wanting to see. Two of the best teams in the league duking it out, and, and you know whoever gets the win is going to be viewed as the team to beat. Now, here's Monk. Ten points for him. The pass to Horton Tucker. Howard with it. Rebound by Akogi. Akogi's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. That is a grown man move from Dwight Howard. Here's Beverly. Kicks it to Beasley. It's stolen by Monk. And even three on three break. To the wing right side. Here's Reeves, defended by Beverly. Now Monk, six to shoot. A rebound by the Timberwolves. McDaniels got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the left side wing. Beverly looking around. Inside and stolen by Howard. for three and the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. and so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in command with a 16 point lead as the buzzer sounds their strategy has been clear tonight work the ball inside get shots in the paint and now they are scoring with ease we've got more in store for you right after this And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's it's taking the it. the fourth quarter crowd. Get up and make And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Anthony out there with Anthony Davis. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then there's Bradley. And it's LeBron in at the three side. That's the Laker five. And it's Towns missing. Lakers leading by 16. Bradley kicks to James. To the wing on the left. Westbrook against Russell. And Westbrook, here we go. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Towns. Timberwolves trail by 16. Over to the left wing. Russell inside. He's covered by Westbrook. A little turnaround. No good on that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They host the Spurs after this one. That'll be the fourth of this five-game home Boy, I'm not sure we've ever seen a passer better than LeBron James. Always able to keep the whole team involved. Now, here is Russell. Towns a screen on James. Here's Edwards. And Edwards with the stop. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. So it's the Lakers now, following the bucket by the Timberwolves. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Towns down low. Davis is there. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Here's Westbrook. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Russell's got rebound number five here tonight. Edwards against James. Kept alive. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. A lot of it comes down to great fundamentals. Establishing position early, controlling the backboards. And again, the Lakers no good. 
And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Here's Russell. And good that time. And that's 11 points for D'Angelo Russell. What a gamer this guy is. D'Angelo Russell relishing the opportunity to play through contact. Pass to Anthony. Back to LeBron. Towns against Davis. And Davis throws it down. And this guy does it all. Davis is as complete an offensive player as we have in our league. Beasley finds Towns. Beasley outside. Driving in. And he makes good on the way. Los Angeles calls timeout. And although he's a little undersized as a shooting guard, Beasley is still a great rebounder. Yeah, and can regularly hit double-digit totals in that area. Very quick to the ball. Always nice to have a great rebounding guard. All right. Look who's coming up with the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girls. That's updated from the sideline. Let's swing it over to David Aldridge. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Lakers leading by 14. Bradley finds Westbrook. Bradley sets the pick for Westbrook. Over Beasley. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Timberwolves ball. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. So looking it over. He takes it in. Count it good. You can see the assertiveness right now of D'Angelo Russell. He welcomes the contact and powers and plays right through it. Hey guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. We throw good, Russell. What we know about D'Angelo Russell is this guy is a dynamic, aggressive scorer. The key is he's got to extend his minutes playing under control. If he does that, lights out. Now here's Anthony. Westbrook kicks to Anthony. Davis, the pass to Bradley. And the rejection by Towns. Carl Anthony Towns twice on the pipe. Send it back, big fella. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And the dunk by Towns. Oh, Guys, oh. we had to take flight to get to this game tonight, but here's a guy who simply takes flight 
and flies at will on the basketball court. I mean, it's pretty surreal to watch a guy who can elevate to that level. LeBron, no luck. Here's Minnesota. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. Russell with it. Picked up by Davis. Beasley, the pass to Edwards. Headshot off. Bradley with some nice D. Pass to LeBron. Outside Anthony. To the paint. Here's Westbrook. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's got his sixth rebound on the night. Beasley, the pass to Russell. The kick out to town. And it's off from three-point range. It's just been a frustrating day for him all the way around, and it's rubbed off now, I think, on the rest of the team. Back to James. Davis sets a screen. Nice shot by James. And the Lakers lead by 11. This guy's a pro at absorbing contact. Almost wants you to foul him as he scores it. Oh, LeBron James. And the three ball is good. Towns has got five points in the quarter. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Easily outside. Towns sets the pick for Beasley. Outside, Towns. Over James. That one wide left. Los Angeles leading by eight. Anthony finds Westbrook. Passes it to Davis. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on D'Angelo Russell. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. And the Lakers making a change here. Reeves is checked in. Patrick Beverly is checked in for the Timberwolves. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. One shot. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. Timberwolves trail by 11. Everly with the ball. Out to the wing. Towns sets the pick for Beverly. He blocks it again. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. And the Timberwolves call time. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girls. Present the New Balance Player of the Game. 
Anthony Davis. And when he's been on the floor, it has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Five on the clock. Now here's Beverly. Guarded close. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Lakers leading by 11. Westbrook dishes to LeBron. Westbrook a screen on Edwards. Trying to get open is Davis. And that one's good by LeBron. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Steps back and fires. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seated. Over in the corner, Beverly. A three-pointer off the mark. L.A.'s gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Now the pass to James. And the foul called on Edwards. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. James against Edwards. James looking around. Just five on the clock. Davis in the corner. Off target from three-point range. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Trailing by 13. Russell against Westbrook. Towns sets the pick for Russell. Misses the three. The Lakers shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. Los Angeles foul. LeBron James. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Timberwolves trail by 13. Outside Russell. 106 left in the fourth quarter. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Lakers. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint. And those are all high percentage shots. But the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Davis. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Davis, the pass to Anthony. Here's Reeves. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easier. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. Oh boy, they really put in a supreme effort. I, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. LeBron, when you know AD is behind you, how does that help you defensively? You can stay home. You can allow him to play one-on-one -on -one versus a guard versus a big, and you can stay home and be able to box out and get rebounds because he's that good. It's 
Quite a one-two punch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. See you later.